Part of the reason why Splatoon is the best shooting game in my eyes is due to how creative the game is. From the whole Squid Kid oriented gameplay to having an intense turf war match in a supermarket, Splatoon is full of personality and charm. But one thing that I think about the most that I really don't hear much people talk about is the fact that the majority of Splatoon weapons aren't just guns and weapons. They're actually based off of real life objects that have nothing to do with blasting your friends with toxic ink until they suffer a drastic death by exploding. Did I also mention Splatoon can be really dark say? at times? So today I'm going to shed light on this amazing detail and talk about what each weapon in the Splatoon series is based off and how the design plays into how the weapon plays for some of them. Because I, I'm probably not going to figure it out for all of them. And because of the fact that there's 43 weapons not including the different variations in this game, I'm not going to go over them all in this one video because that would take a really long time. Therefore, I'll be splitting these videos up into different parts with each part tackling two different weapon classes. I would also be using a list on Reddit made by Luigi86101 for a lot of help on most of these, so check that out in the description below. But with all that out the way, let's get started with shooters and blasters. Up first being the Sploosh and splash o -Matic, which are based off of bold marker pens and tattoo guns. As many of y'all have noticed, the Sploosh and splash o -Matic are kind of the same weapon. Only difference being the Sploosh o -Matic having a funnel at the end instead of a sharp tip like the splash o -Matic. This explains the splash o -matic having a more widespread shot than the splash. Up next is splatter shots. Now all the splatter shots are based off water guns, which is most obvious in the original splatter shot, which is just a super soaker. Junior is supposed to be a cheaper version of a water gun, which makes sense in Splatoon content since the Junior is what you start off the game with. Because of this, it does not have much range or accuracy as the original splatter shot. It does, however, have a good paint game, which is good for beginners since Splatoon is about painting, and beginners are forced to play Turf War until level 10. Finally, the Splash Shot Pro is based off of the Super Soaker 2000, which makes sense for it having been classified as the Splash Shot Pro, basically saying this is the definitive version of the Splash Shot with its higher range and accuracy. Aerospray is based off an air paint sprayer or an airbrush, which makes sense because you can really see the resemblance in design. Practically the same thing. Also, the Aerospray has very widespread shooting, just like an air paint sprayer. The gals are based off of a grenade launcher, but replacing the ammo compartment with a water jug. Because you know, we're, instead of shooting grenades, we're shooting ink. That's actually where the gal part of 96 and 52 gal comes in. Just like the Sploosh and splash matic the only difference between the 96 and the 52 is that the 96 is longer to represent it having more range. Other than that, they're pretty much the same weapon. Next up is the end zap, and this is definitely my favorite one so far. This weapon is based off the Nintendo Zapper, an accessory for the Nintendo Entertainment System, aka the NES, for the game Duck Hunt. The weapon's design is very identical to its real life counterpart. Even the name, end zap, Nintendo Zapper, 85. Duck Hunt released in 1985. Well, at least in North America it did. The Jet Scorcher is based off a of power drill. The Luna Blaster is based off a of jet turbine. The original and range blasters are based off spray can bottles. I believe the flame design painted on these weapons is a direct reference to graffiti due to the fact that people use spray can bottles to do graffiti. Rapid Blaster Original and Pro are based off of toy dart guns. The Clash Blaster is based off a of pencil sharpener with crayons attached to it to represent the fact that only BABIES USE THAT WEAPON! I'm so sorry, I just... I, I, I just, I, I just really hate Clash Blasters. The Nozzle's class is based off of garden hoses. And finally, the Squeezer is based off of a champagne bottle. This honestly was a very clever design choice due to the fact that the Squeezer has two different shooting styles. Rapidly tapping the shoot button results in more long range direct shots, while holding the shoot button results in more widespread short range shots. This is definitely a reference to how opening champagne bottles can lead to the cork flying off in high speed with a bunch of liquid just oozing out. And that concludes part 1. Next time, we'll be going over what objects, weapons within the Charger and Roller class are based off of, so stay tuned for that. And before I go, I'd like to thank you guys so much for 200 plus subscribers. Holy crap! I'm sorry. I honestly really appreciate you guys for the support, and hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos. And if not, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Give me suggestions. I'm all open for it. But with that out the way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 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 I